Welcome to The Power of Delegation. The uh, written word version is available on the blog. Here's me reading it. It's nearly exactly the same, but there's probably a few slip ups and a few elaborations I might chuck in there. So let's jump into it. The Power of Delegation. So as business owners, we often fall into a trap of doing everything ourselves. This is because deep down, we believe that we're the best at the job and sometimes even the only ones who can do the job right. We were the ones who came up with the jobs, so it makes sense that we're the best at them, right? The catch with this kind of mindset is that it almost certainly leads to burnout and it puts a very low ceiling on your business growth. It's a common misconception that to maintain control and ensure quality, we must handle or oversee every task personally. And on the surface, that can make sense. But when you actually think about it, this approach is not only unsustainable, but also a huge liability to the future of the business because it's only you doing stuff. There's only so much you can do. So this is where delegation with a big D comes in. And when I say delegation, I don't just mean shoving things off your to-do list and onto someone else. So when I talk about delegation, I mean handing over ownership and responsibility in a way that is both given and able to be received. So in my guide, The Five Biggest Growth Mistakes in Business, I discuss the importance of delegation. And delegation done effectively means empowering your team and creating a culture of trust and responsibility. So it's about recognizing that you don't have to be the superhero who does it all. Instead, you can be the leader who brings out the best in your team. And that's how you get the most out of them. So why delegation? Delegation so that you can do the real work of the business owner. So when you delegate effectively, you free up time to focus on strategic growth activities, basically. So as a head honcho of your organization, you have a unique viewpoint. You're the only one who can see things from the top looking out, right? So there are certain higher level things visible only from your viewpoint, uh, tasks that only you as the business owner can do. So these tasks include setting the vision, uh, setting the direction of your business, building strategic partnerships, uh, making significant business decisions, and basically having things in the right places. Because you're looking down on this, everyone else is in it, more or less. Or the lower down you move in the organization, the more in it you are. So you can't see these things. So by delegating tasks to others, you can devote more time and energy to these crucial areas of the business. And they're the ones that really make an impact. The benefit to you and your team. The benefits of effective delegation extend beyond just freeing up your time. Delegation also gives your team the opportunity to develop their skills and contribute more significantly to the business. When you delegate tasks, you show your team that you trust them. This trust can boost their confidence and motivate them to take on more initiative and responsibility. And that can really snowball from there. Cool. Humans learn best um, and they grow more effectively when they have the agency to make real choices and where there are real consequences at play. Now, obviously, you need people to be able to own things to have those situations. So think think of all the huge groundbreaking lessons that you have had as the entrepreneur, as a, the owner, the starter of your business. None of these would have happened if someone was watching over your shoulder and doing the work for you. Don't rob your team of that same opportunity to grow, right? So if you want the team to grow around you, you need to give them the chances to do these kind of things. So remember, your business is a team sport. In any sport, the team that plays well together wins, right? Team of champions, champion team, different things. Same is true in business. So when everyone on your team is playing to their strengths and working together towards a common goal, your business can achieve more than you ever could on your own. Pretty simple, right? How do I start? That all sounds good. How do I start delegating more effectively? Well, first of all, you want to start by identifying tasks that can be done by others or could be done by others with a little training and support. So this could be anything from administrative tasks to customer service to marketing activities. It could even be training and systems or process tasks. So yes, you can even delegate the process of delegation. Getting a little meta there. <laughs> Don't overlook tasks that require a skill set that someone else in your team has though, right? because you don't have to be the only one to teach and develop. So think about things that other people could um, delegate from you to someone else to train someone, help someone, support someone. Doesn't just have to be you who reigns it down from above. Next, clearly communicate the task, the expected outcome and the deadlines or what's at stake in this situation. Make sure your team member understands what needs to be done and why it's important. So basically, big machine, you want them to be a cog and you want them to understand how they interact with the other cogs and what the machine's trying to build and output. Makes it really easy for everyone. Help them understand how it all fits into the bigger picture and why it is important to get the desired outcome we're looking for, 
right? Pretty simple. Provide them with the necessary training and resources and then be available for questions and support. So finally, you need to trust your team to get the job done. Trust, important word there. So you've got to resist the urge to micromanage and it always comes up because you've done it and you've done it forever. Don't want to do that. Uh, the moment you sense that they're getting the hang of it, that's the time to stand back and sort of watch admiringly like, you know, um, your kid teaching, sorry, your dad teaching your kid to ride on the bike and like training wheels are off and oh, off they go, cool. <laughs> uh, you want to be available, but you don't want to hover because then they'll be distracted by your hovering. Bask in that newfound free time. So by stepping back at the, um, at the time when they've got a level of competence and it's up and running, you give your team the freedom to approach the task their own way. And this is a huge win because it not only empowers them, but it also fosters an, um, creativity and, and innovation because uh, they're now competent, but they sort of know what they're trying to achieve and why they're trying to achieve it. They might have a better way to do it than you. And that's a huge win-win, right? So um, if you resist the urge to micromanage, you don't really fall into that. So one to look out for, get them to competent and then let them go. Just check in, verify. By delegating, you're not just freeing up your own time, but you're also building a stronger, more capable team, and that's a win-win for everyone. Delegation is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of a strong leader. So start delegating today and watch your business grow. Uh, and then just at the bottom, if you're visiting the webpage, there's a little bit about uh, me speaking about my five biggest growth mistakes in business guide. It's fantastic. It's going to help you get out of some uh, bottleneck situations where you're the one that everyone's jamming into in the business and you know, you're the blockage here. It's gonna help you get out of that situation and generally give you a really good framework to grow your business consistently and smoothly without the pain. Um, that's free and available now for a limited time. You can get that on the links included. Thanks for listening. Hope you learned something great. Talk soon. Onwards and upwards, Jake.